Razer Project Valerie, the portable triple 4K monitor gaming system they showed off earlier this year at CES. We all heard the rumors that I stole it from their booth during cleanup at the show, but I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. I didn't steal it. In fact, I wouldn't even want it because Truth be told, I've been working on my own triple monitor, portable, battle station laptop concept for the last 20 minutes that I call Rezar Prejoct Vulerby. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly how it works. HP's new Omen X lineup comes equipped with Intel's 7th generation Core i7 processor. Check it out at the link in the video description. All right, so first things first, and I assure you that my decision to use a Razer Blade Pro as the basis of my pre jocked has nothing to do with the fact that Razer also did the same thing with their project. See, mine's a pre jocked theirs is a project. No similarity whatsoever is to start with the Razer Blade Pro as a basis. It's already a fairly portable battle station class computer with a Core i7 6700K, GTX 1080 graphics, 32 gigs of RAM, PCIe RAID 0 SSDs, pretty much you, ow, my finger is stuck, freaking name it. I'm not a huge fan of the keyboard, but that's okay. Okay, so what was good about Project Valerie? It was self-contained as a single unit, so you could just slide it into your backpack as one piece. I mean, sort of. They didn't actually have any of that stuff working yet when we were there. The, uh, the like, one that was supposed to kind of like go out and then fold in, that was all fixed in place just as kind of a, of a mock-up. And the number two is it was truly portable. So the idea was that, sure, it was pretty thick, but it could be taken with you, uh, set up in the local Starbucks and run in either single monitor mode, so without folding out the additional displays, or in triple monitor mode without requiring being plugged into the wall. So my plan is actually to use a solution that I brought up during my show coverage of Razer's take on this by using portable USB powered monitors. I mean, sure, I may give up some of the elegance of not having everything fold together, but I have the advantage of not needing to carry my two extra monitors out with me when I don't intend to use them. Okay, we're gonna get started on construction in a minute, but first, let's have a look at the monitors we're using. So these are made by a company called G-Chic. We've actually covered one of their products before, but this is a new one. This is the Onlap 1503H. And other than being like portable, it's basically a monitor. So you got your buttons on the side, you've got HDMI and VGA in, unfortunately using proprietary ports, uh, but they did send me pretty much all the cables I could possibly need as well as their dock connector that goes on the back for one of them. So all of that should be pretty straightforward for our project. And uh, it's powered right with this USB type C connector right down here on the bottom left. Now, normally the idea would be that you mount it using the uh, included metal stand and rubber magnet thing on the back. But of course, we have other plans. Okay, so if everything seemed really well planned out and structured about this video up until now, that's because I had a plan. This is the part where, for the first time, I actually attempt to, uh, to do this. <clears throat> so here we go. In order to keep the IO on the side of the monitor, out of the way of my mounting strategy, which I have not yet determined what it will actually be. So these are like, they're pretty light, but they 
definitely do have some heft to them. I'm thinking maybe I could take off this metal bracket, see if I can save a little bit of weight there. On one of them, I'm gonna be using their dock connector. So the one that mounts on the right side of the monitor. It's kind of unfortunate how freaking long the cables are on this. So you can see right there, we don't need to have any cables sticking out of it. So we can go like that. And like, like, like that. Okay, then on the other one, I can use the cables that were included in the box because they only sent me one of those dock adapters. Here we go, so we plug in the proprietary HDMI and our power in with the objective then of running that puppy right there. Yeah, boy! Okay, so what I can't do with the bracket here is have these monitors sit in front of the laptop. So it looks like these are gonna have to go on from the back. And because of the length of these cables, I think I'm actually gonna be better off having the uh, dock adapter one on this side and then the other one, see, with the cables coming off here, on the other side and wrapping them around sort of, maybe. Ooh. No problem, no problem. We got this. So all I need to figure out now is what type of mounting strategy I wanna use. We got tuck tape, we got gaff tape, which I'm already pretty sure isn't going to work. We've got double-sided Velcro tape, and we've got this badass 3M adhesive that we use for our GoPros. Now, this and tuck tape have the disadvantage of not being very uh, removable, how you say? So I'm gonna try and make this work with this Velcro stuff. Let's see how it goes. Now obviously, given that these monitors actually have mounting points on them, like screw mounting points, if Jake was here, I could have him whip up something on the 3D printer or something, but it's me, so double-sided tape. Fraser's gonna be super stoked on getting this laptop back with like Velcro all over it. This stuff leaves a wicked residue. Okay. <laughs> so, it's actually kind of moment of truth time here. What kind of angle do we want? Let's go with that. Give me some guidance here, man. Okay, actually, here, you know what? Let's just, there. We'll line it like that. Whoa! <laughs> oh boy. Okay, here we go. So theoretically, you need two USB plugs for power for this sucker. But I have had them working with just one. So let's see if, wait for it. Yeah, all right. We got one, one monitor working. Now it's time to apply what we learned, which is nothing, of course to the other side. Okay. okay. Boom. Yeah. Think it's gonna survive? 
do you even lift Razor Blade Pro? Yeah, boy, yeah, you do. Now we just gotta plug this one in. And do note that there is still a USB port available on the left side for your uh, USB plugging needs, you know, your mouse, your uh, thumb drive, and the second HDMI output provided by the Thunderbolt port because what project wouldn't be complete without a dongle in today's world? So the Thunderbolt port gives us our second HDMI and... Come on. Where's my cursor? Did the computer just crash? Oh. Look at that! Working perfectly. DIY Project Valerie. The cursor moves seamlessly from one to the next, and we have achieved the goals that we set out to achieve. So goal number one, triple monitors on a laptop. And goal number two, the ability to albeit with some additional bulk, take our completely cableless solution, no need to be plugged into the wall, and easily easily Easily. Oh, did that panel just break? Oh, this one's fine. <clears throat> Easily take it with us. on the go in one compact package. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this fun little video on DIY Project Valerie. Now, obviously, I fully understand that this is not a very elegant solution, but the point of this video, in much the same way that Razer's video was more about the concept of triple monitor laptops, the point of this video was the concept of portable multi-monitor solutions and where they could go in the future. What I'd like to see is, especially with USB Type-C and its incredible power delivery characteristics, I'd like to see a beefy Thunderbolt port that could power two of these monitors that are kind of daisied together across the back off of a single port or something like that. That would be super cool. Amazon. You may remember them from such incidents as kicking us out of their associates program, but we're back and they're still awesome. We still love them. Amazon is great. They stock or have available through other suppliers pretty much everything and it's all cheaper and faster with Amazon Prime. So Amazon Prime's got all kinds of great benefits. You get their Amazon Prime video streaming, you get a free subscribe per month on Twitch TV as well as ad-free viewing on Twitch, and of course you get free shipping on thousands and thousands of items or even same day shipping on other more different thousands of items. It costs only a hundred bucks a year and you can check it out at the link in the video description. If you are not already an Amazon Prime member, I highly recommend it. I have two Amazon Prime memberships. I actually do. One for Canada and one for the US. Thanks for watching. If you disliked, dislike. But if you liked, hit that like button, get subscribed, maybe consider joining our community forum, uh, checking out the link to where to buy the stuff we featured in the video description, or joining, uh, wait, uh, also we have shirts, right? Those are done there as well. Now that you're done doing all that stuff, you're probably wondering what to watch next. So check out our latest video, which will be, I think we have a new outro animation. So on there, yeah. <laughs>